So, what's going on, everyone? Ah, uh, we're back again in Path of Titans. I've had so many Path of Titans videos recently because they just keep releasing new dinosaurs. And I mean, hey, it's easy content. Something to tie me over until the Isle updates. So last night, Path of Titans had a pretty big update. And by big, they added uh, just, you know, another creature, same as usual. But uh, can you shut up, bro? I'm trying to do the intro. They added another creature as usual, but uh, this time it's uh, not a dinosaur. It's uh, a certain species of animal that has always has a lot of hype surrounding it, despite the fact that its relatives are still alive today. So you would think it would be the least interesting, but like everyone loves it. I mean, I love it personally. And that is not the Sukumimus, not the Spinosaurus, but it is the Sarcosuchus. I'm not gonna lie. I have some complaints to say, but I'll save that for later in the video. For now, we're just gonna make a skin for this guy. And we'll name this guy Pre-Release Content, because uh, that's something I wanna talk about for a moment. So here we are, and now before we get into what I want to discuss, let's check out this guy and uh, how he works. And, uh, hmm. I don't really know if Crocodiles gallop, but, uh, hmm. I mean, at least the animation has weight to it, like, that's good, but I don't know, like, if it really fits this guy. The walk looks fine, and, um, the regular, that, that, sorry, not the walk, that was the trot, this is the walk, and, uh, th this looks fine as well. Not too keen on the run, I have to say, um, we don't have a lot of stamina as this guy, which is honestly to be expected. Anyway, let's check out our sounds, so this is the one call. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, sounds like an angry crocodile. Ah, uh, this is the two called the friendly. Oh, that's like a little chirp. I like that. It's like, you know, an actual crocodile when they're being friendly. Ah, uh, three call. Angry hiss, that makes sense. And the four call, danger. Sounds... Doesn't really sound like he's in danger, it just sounds like a generic call, honestly. And then he has one attack, and it's just a simple bite attack. The sound effect for it's really cool. Just like the clamp shut it does. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way that sounds. So we have spawned up here, and uh, well, you all know what this place is right here. So I suppose what we shall do is go into the water and swim over there. Here we go, galloping downhill. <laughs> <laughs> because that makes sense. And he kind of turns like a bus in the water. Although, it, it, it is kind of fun making a move like this. I'm not gonna lie. So, while we swim through the, uh, the giant misty lake. Fun fact, I'm not playing on my account right now. I'm playing on the account of one of my friends who was so kind enough to, uh, lend me their account so I could check this guy out. And, um, you know, show him to you guys. Now, the reason I can't be on my account to play as this Dinosuchus, not Dinosuchus, Sarcosuchus, is because he is locked behind a sort of paywall. Now, this Sarcosuchus is part of the pre-release access of Path of Titans, I believe, and it's a perk that you can buy on the Alderaan Games store. And basically what it does is it costs $30- oh. Hello. Wait. You can dive? Oh. I didn't realize. Okay, so you just press precise movement. I was expecting you just press crouch, but you don't really do that. So yeah, there's a perk on the Alderaan Games store that gives you pre-release access, and um, basically what they do is they're releasing like certain dinosaurs early, and only people who buy the pre-release access perk can access it. And eventually they're all gonna be available like, when the game actually releases, which I don't know when the actual release of the game is happening. But from my perspective, I find this really scummy. Now, Jiggy, one of the developers of Path of Titans, uh, I got this game via a key that she gave me. I got a key to unlock the game. Like, the just the normal demo, right? Now, normally what you would have to do is pay $20 to get access to the normal demo. So that's all fine and dandy, right? Like, the, the Isle costs $20, Beast of Migrita is $20. The, the general price range for these types of games is like $15, $20. Now, the problem that I see here is the fact that this pre-release content is 30 bucks to get access to dinosaurs that aren't 
fully finished yet, in a game that isn't fully finished yet, that will eventually be available to everyone anyway. Like, this seems like some Ark Scorched Earth BS to me. Except in Ark Scorched Earth, Ark was actually kind of playable when they added the DLC, but Path of Titans, like, it's not really even close to done. You don't, you can't really do much in the game now, except sit by a lake, do quests, and unlock skins for 30 hours. And this just seems like a cash grab to me. Like, they said this Sarkasuchus was supposedly released early, right? But again, you can only play as this guy if you have the, um, the $30 pre-release perk. So to people who already own the demo version and paid $20 and might not have known about this whole pre-release thing, they can't play as this guy and they have to spend another $30 to do so. And like, yes, you get backer skins if you do that, but even so, 30 bucks isn't worth access to a couple unfinished dinosaurs and a few skins. I just feel that this whole practice of pre-release content is really scummy, because everyone's gonna eventually get it anyway. And I guess the friend of mine who loaned this version of the game to me via their account, thank you Haigani by the way, shout out to you. I guess he, um, when he initially got the game, he backed the pre-release part, not just the regular demo. Which obviously, if you want to back the pre-release, that's fine, like to each their own, you know? But it just seems really unfair to the players who bought the demo, weren't really aware that this was going to be a thing. And they say, oh, sorry, we're releasing the Dinosuchus early. You can play as it, but you have to pay to do so. And I'm totally aware that a lot of the hardcore Path of Titans fans are going to get on my case. Like, oh, but by paying for it, you're supporting the game. And it's like, yeah, that's true. But even so, they really should not be, like, charging so much just to get early access. And again, I don't know if they have a set date for official release, but if they really wanted to, they could drag this out for a while and just leave a bunch of pre-release dinosaurs in the game for pretty much as long as they wanted. Oh, there's another crocodile. Hey, bud. <laughs> but yeah, in theory, they could easily just add pre-release after pre-release and just leave them in the game and not release the game officially and then kind of let them sit there so people get more and more enticed to buy the pre-release content. Just as like a cash grab. Again, I'm not saying that's what they're gonna do, obviously, because I don't know the official set release date for this game. I don't know, it just seems like a red flag to me, the fact that they're doing this pre-release thing. And they're like, oh, if you pay 30 bucks, you can get access to more things. But it's like, come on, it, okay, if the game was finished, it's like, okay, maybe do some DLC or something. But the game isn't even finished yet, and you should not be charging people 30 bucks to play as dinosaurs that just aren't finished in a game that is still very early in development and hasn't even officially released yet. And it's like, when I see that, it's kind of like, no wonder they're using their own launcher and not Steam, because if they were on Steam, they wouldn't be able to get away with this. Oh, does the tail, like, drag across, like, surfaces? Hang on. Oh, it does. That's a nice touch. So it doesn't just, like, clip through. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I can just squish my tail. Would you look at that? Oh, that's funny. But yeah, the last thing I'm gonna say about it is, right now, it just doesn't seem like the pre-release content is worth it at all. And it's like, it seems like a red flag to me. Just how much they're charging. And like I said, I didn't pay for this. I didn't pay for the pre-release content. I uh, am borrowing a friend's account, so again, thank you to Haigani. But I don't know, I'll let you all decide for yourselves. And you know what I'm just realizing? I didn't check the species for this guy, so I'm gonna click log out real quick. Okay, so this is the default, the imp Imperator. We have Polystrebus, and we have Hartree. Uh, what's the difference between this and that? Okay, so Hartree has a longer snout. And this one is bulkier overall. I think I like the bulky one, Polystrebus. It looks a lot, like, stronger. Seems like we need a lot of water to stay hydrated, which, I mean, it makes sense. It's kind of like a, an incentive to stay closer to bodies of water. If there's a Kentrosaurus, I'm gonna try and get this guy. Um, okay, I guess I'm just gonna chase him down like a freaking... Uh, oh, is he... Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, th this guy must have bit him. That's what happened. 
Yeah, we can't catch that guy. We have to be like an ambush predator with it. Oh, you can bask like that? That's cool. Hang on, I assume that's the sleep animation, right? Not the rest. Okay, so if we rest and we hold H, there we go, okay, that's sick. I wonder how easy it is for us crocs to take out a Spinosaurus. Hey, what do these guys think they're doing? <laughs> they just ran by and bit that other Sarko. Oh, we've got a Metriacanthosaurus, can we get him? Oh, I just barely missed him. Oh, the other Sarko's coming in to cut him off. Oh, he got hit. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. I doubt we're gonna catch him, though. Oh, the, the, the Metries ran into each other. Oh, I was so close. Can I cut him off? I might be able to cut him off. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, got him. Um, come on, come on. Yes! Good job, dude. He came in. I was like, wait, yeah, what was happening there? I was like... I thought I was pressing X for precise movement, but I was actually pressing C, so I was moving, like, weirdly. Either way, though, this guy's skin, this other Sarko, really looks cool. I quite like that. I don't know which skin this is. Oh, and this guy's albino. Albino skins often don't look good on, like, dinosaurs and stuff, but on crocodiles, like on the Sarkosuchus, that looks good. God, if you think there's a lot of crocodiles here, just wait until the aisle gets Dinosuchus. <laughs> That's gonna be absolutely insane. What is going on with this guy's tail? <laughs> I can knock their tails around. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh my god, his tail just spazzed out. That's funny. Hang on, I'm gonna get this guy's tail. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's actually so many crocodiles. Oh, there's a raptor up there, though. I might just try and... Uh... Oh, is that guy gonna get him? Oh, he's running down. There he goes, there he goes. Hang on, can we get him? Oh, I just barely missed him. Wait. Yes, got him. Nice. Don't attack me, dude. I swear. He was a criminal. He's kind of mad at me, I think. Sorry, dude. <laughs> but I wanted to get a kill. Whoa, that guy just logged in. That is a cool skin. This body's lasting for a while, I have to say. Oh, oh well, as I say that, it disappears. D damn it, damn it, move. Come on, dude. Honestly, we could probably take out these Spinos if we, uh, if we all work together. But I don't think the other Sarkos would like that too much because they're bitches. It's weird seeing Crocs so active, but like they're human players. So it's like, what do you expect? They don't want to sit in one spot for 20 hours out of the day. Also, what's amazing to me is that the swimming is slower than, like, their land walk. So it's like, why would you travel in the water over on land? Yeah, this guy is definitely too slow in the water. Oh, there's the guy with the cool skin again. Hey, dude. Oh, there's another raptor. I mean, I'm hella bored, so I mean, I might just, uh, waddle over to him and, uh, you know... Murder him in cold blood. Do do do. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, dude. I'm not coming to kill you. Don't worry. I'm just minding my own business walking this way. And oh, damn it! He lagged out of the way. <laughs> oh, that was way too convenient for him. Oh, there's the raptor. There he is. There he is. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, you are so smart, you little bastard. We're, we're... He just teleported away. Oh, 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 and he's back up there. Because if I try to run up there, he's going to jump off because he's very nimble. <laughs> he's just shaking his head feathers at me. <laughs> you little cocky bastard. The moment I go too far over to the to the right here, he's going to jump down. Yeah, he wants he wants to get down, but he knows the second dino's here. I keep calling it dino, Sarko. Sarko, Sarko. Yeah, got him! <laughs> Oh, oh, come on, dude. Aw, oh, dude, don't be that guy right now. Look at this amazing combat. I'm dead, yeah. Wait, no, I won! I won a fight! Wow! Take me away, Spino. <laughs> I don't care. I won the fight. That's all that matters. Oh, uh, whatever. It's fine. Well, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, and I guess I will see you in whatever game I play next. 
And hopefully it's not Path of Titans or Primal Carnage. Like, seriously. This Isle Update 2 cannot happen soon enough. Like, it's supposed to be this month in November. But, I mean, the days are winding down. So, freaking better come out soon. Okay, anyway, I will see y'all later. Okay, you know what? I can't just end the video there. I have to wreak some havoc here. I mean, come on. And, uh, oh, that guy is floating, apparently. Nah, the bouncing one's just chilling, you know? I don't really want to hurt him. So... Yeah, what is that? Get that guy. There we go. Um, did anyone notice? Nope, they, they didn't notice. <laughs> okay, let's just go to town on him. Let's go to town. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, kind of got stuck in the middle there. I always think fights in Path of Titans are going to be, like, more exciting and drawn out and tense, like, in the aisle. But I'm always wrong. Here's the true ending of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until the next one, I will see you cuties later.